For this demonstration, one handrail was removed, so descending occurs with the handrail on the left. The physical therapist should be positioned below the patient whether the patient is moving up or down the stairs. With one hand, the therapist grasps the gate belt and grasps the handrail with the other hand. Holding the handrail provides the therapist with stability if he needs to stop a fall. The therapist should stand in stride with his feet on different stair treads. This position enables the therapist to shift his weight as the patient moves. When ascending or descending stairs, the patient places the tips of the assistive device one half to two thirds of the way forward on the stair tread in the direction the patient is facing. When two assistive devices are used, they should be placed far enough apart to allow room for the patient to move between them. If a stair rail is available, the patient should use it for greater stability. When a patient is using two assistive devices, both devices can be placed in one hand to free the other hand for use on the stair rail. If, however, one upper extremity can't be used, the assistive device can be held in the hand on the stair rail. When ascending stairs, the uninvolved lower extremity is moved to the next higher stair first as it is required to lift the body. The uninvolved lower extremity is then extended to lift the body. As the body is lifted, the involved lower extremity and assistive devices are raised and placed on the same stair.